All right, welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Online. Apologies for the audio quality in the last video. Well, you guys might, might have noticed it was a little different. As If you watched the entire video, thank you very much. And also, you would have noticed at the end that the webcam was the default microphone for that video, not our actual mics, uh, which is a significant quality decrease. Hopefully, we have that situation sorted out and you guys can hear uh, a little bit better. My God, you sound like an angel. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll that's that'll that'll do. I'm tempted to take Blightsteel again because we are doing the red green Christmas draft right now. And that means if we get like a tooth and nail or a bunch of mana, it's yeah, really good. That's true. So hopefully you guys notice a quality difference because boy, it's alright, I hear the difference. Yeah, it's like night and day, right? Like the other one sounds like I'm probably in a wind tunnel, whereas this is like, hey, this is a nice four hundred dollar mic. Do you guys, what do you, what do you think? Blightsteel or it's Noble Hierarch or Awakening Zone? But I think this is just stronger. I think Hierarch is the technical correct pick, but Blightsteel is more fun. Do you really? Yeah. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Hierarch and maybe the... I, I said it was the technical correct pick, not the good, not the one that you should pick. I didn't force your hand, okay? Lapouche. Wow! <laughs> I can hear the $400 in your mouth. Um... There's also Nissa World Waker here. Not ever Tooth and Nail. Don't I think Tooth and Nail is the pick. Come on, Tooth and Nail. Day. And you know what the perfect red green Tooth and Nail deck is? If you can get Emrakul the Aeon's Torn and Xenagos the God to give it haste. Oh, oof. Is he even in this? Probably not. But we're taking Tooth and Nail. Now we're taking a whole bunch of nothing. No, we have to take something. That's how drafts work. You got oh, okay. you got to make a pick. Uh, Primal Command. Then. Yeah, I think it's Primal Command. I like Primal Command because it gets a creature to put in your hand, which makes Tooth and Nail on 7 easier to do. So we're going to take that. My god, I can't believe we passed this. The uh, the dude. Got Lanowells, Burning of Zinyi. Burning of Zinyi is kind of a thing. It kills all of our stuff, though. I mean, the problem with, with it against green decks is that, like, you have... Um... Yeah, you probably definitely need to get your ears checked. <laughs> like, if you think the only difference is hearing my tongue in my mouth, if, if you think that's the only difference between a, a $400 mic and a $30 webcam mic, a $100 webcam mic, um, that is a problem. It could be Mortars, too, because that's actually a good... I think it's Mortars. I think we can get a million of this kind of card. I don't like Burning because it kills all of our Elves and all of our lands. If anything, there'd definitely be a noticeable noise difference, like... The volume itself. It's less crackly. It's more clear. I think it's I think it's mortars. Like, I like basalt monolith. There's mono no way you can hear me as clear on that mic. There's no, especially because like the distance yeah. is like this, as opposed to like this. So it's a significant it's a significant difference. Um, I don't like elves because you can literally get a million of those elves. Uh, like there's you, you like we always have an abundance of one drops. And I also don't like Monolith because green is the color that does things like that so much better. I don't. You're not going to need Monolith in a green deck. Yeah, maybe if you're listening on an actual potato, that that could, it might not make a difference. What up, Lord Vin? You like Sage or Search better? I like Search better. I like Sage better. That's funny. There's so many artifacts in this format. And enchantments, too? Well, you wouldn't buy my advice last time, so go buy your Oh, that's a good point. Time. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to ignore you. Is it Hermie? Big Herms. Big Herm. What up, Big Herm? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm actually not between him, though. His mic is right here. He has his own mic. He has his own mic right in front of his face. So... It is a shotgun mic, so it's designed to pick him up specifically. Uh, like, just the direction, like, right in front of his face. Whereas the webcam has a larger spread. Ooh. Library? Yeah, it's definitely library. This is my problem with drafting red-green, is that, like, the red cards are more aggro cards, and the green cards are more... Not? Palaki lacky I mean, I will take, uh, like, the Inferno Titans. Can we just play... Can we technically play blue as well because you got to water your Christmas trees? You can play white too because it's a winter wonderland. So a snow snow yeah, world. Exactly. So you can't play black though. No, because that's death. 
Is it a waking zone or burst lightning because we're we're really forcing this red here? It's a waking zone, one hundred percent. I know. Oh, that's a good. That's actually good. Yeah. Actually, tooth and nailing into Kikijiki and something else is pretty insane. I hear there's a couple cars that can win you the game. Tell me more. That's really all there is. Like, do they own a car? All right. So if we open a pester might, we are going to splash for that. And by splash, I mean tooth and nail it. Whatever. No, oh, look, the burning came back. We'll just take that anyway. You draft green for stomp and red for removal and burn. Stomp. Teehee. Black is the coal Santa leaves. Oh, man. Oh, that makes sense. This is perfect. What a time to be alive. That's only if we're, we've been bad, though. Yeah, but you're always, you're always, no, I'm not, that's, that's a weird bird. <laughs> I'll just say tangle wire. Say it like a goat. I always, I say everything like a goat. I, I, I'm, I'm a goat, Greg. Can you say me? I need some liquid. Go get some liquid. Ain't nobody stopping you. But aren't you? Well, you should wait till the first pick here. All right. It's nothing exciting. I don't know what we take though. Master. Okay. Thran Dynamo. If we have more cards like Thran Dynamo, it makes Burning of Zinni better. Shake Hellkite. I feel the like we have enough. Wins the game. Yeah, we have enough five drops here. Yeah, that guy's got haste. Okay, cool. well, I don't know if we're a Genesis Wave deck. We already have Tooth and Nail. I don't want to like overload on a lot of expensive top end cards that you can't hit. Like if we have Genesis Wave, we can't hit Tooth and Nail off of it, or Primal Command, or Awakening Zone. Wait, we can we? Is it permanent? This deck is going to be so fair. What's the pick, man? Thran? Master. Is it Master? I think so. Master! 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 Well, it, Wave for 7 doesn't do anything because we can't hit Tooth and Nail. It's not a permanent. That's not how Genesis Wave works. Yeah, it's only perms. Genesis Wave puts the permanents into play. It puts the permanents into play or else it gets the hose again. Yeah, it's not just it's not a Mind's Desire. Or else that would be a... It's just green Mind's played, Desire. You just you cast all lot. the spells you reveal. That would be played way more. <laughs> That'd be in like every format. Well, that would be disgusting. Alright, we'll take... Oh, I'm gonna take the Rand. I think it's the Rand Dynamo. I, I felt... I, I got scared. Oh, man. If we were blue, God, our deck would be so good. It's just batter skill. Oh, why? Because we get control magic? Control magic. There's like three other picks that were really good for blue. <coughs> Go get your drink. I'm going to wait. You're going to wait till what? The draft is over? Yeah. How long is it going to take you? I don't know. Like two seconds. All right. I'll hold... At the next pick, I'll hold it, and then we you can go run and do your thing. Is it just batter skull here? B skull? Or is it incinerate? It's kind of like walking balls. If we take fire, uh, we can splash the second half off things like Noble Hierarch. Which is true. I think Batter Skull is probably better than that, though. Is it better than Walking Blister, though? I don't know. That's the question. God, I can't believe we didn't get that. Is it just Manglehorn? Is that just like Reclamation Sage 2.0? Do we just take all these Manglehorn effects? Maybe. I think Batter Skull is the pick. Oh my god, Ancestral. Treachery! Yeah. And Opposition. Opposition. Yeah. And we have Hermit. Oh god. Why Why do we Why do we do this? Why do we do this? It's okay, dude. We get an actual. We get a Hazard. Oh, ooh, Hazard. Ooh. I'm gonna go get a drink. This is an easy pick. I'm just gonna hold it on Natural Order. Go get your drink. Opposition and treachery, guys. We just went from control magic to treachery. Nope, can't switch. You gotta stick to it. You gotta stick to our blue, our red green guns. I don't have high hopes for the uh, win percentage of our deck, but you know, I do have high hopes for the red greenness of it. We're definitely not picking Hazzy. It does nothing in our deck. It's so bad. Oh, Huntmaster of the Fells. That's a card I'm excited about. Now we're talking. Oh, can we go Huntmaster into Kikijiki and then copy it? That seems pretty legit. 
We cannot take opposition. We are doing a red-green stipulation draft here. The Christmas draft is real. Did we get anything exciting? Huntmaster of the Fells. That's pretty exciting. I agree. I think that's all right. Hey, man. Yeah, man. How much I got to pay you for some of that sweet, sweet crystal? <laughs> And that's how my Magic Online collection got taken. I guess it's just the run because this pack is pretty atrocious. Yeah. Maybe this card's good. I think Thrun's better. Thrun is pretty good sometimes. God, look at this white card, white card, white card, white card, white card. Oh, Woodfall Primus is great for us. You man, you better watch out. These have five calories, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting real, I'm getting real dense on them. Yeah, we're just taking Woodfall, Woodfall, E McPrime. Wow, look at these packs, dude. Now the green cards are coming. We got Corsair, Rishkar, Rishkar, Hogar. That's pretty good. I I think of uh like like a when you're driving your Rishkar, like when you're. When you're watching NASCAR and you see all the guys driving their rich cars. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Is it Corsair? Which one of these three drops are we taking here? I feel like it's Corsair. I'll ask you again, man. How much for the crystal? Just take one. God, hey, look. I wanted to pay for the crystal. We got a Xenagos. Just take the crystal, man. What you got? Take the blue one. The blue crystal, bro. Raspberry lemonade. It's that Walter White stuff. Oh, look, this Master of the Wild Hunt and this Thunder My Hawkeye just came back. Oh, they're all in the same pack. I got you. Is it Master or is it Thunder My Hawkeye now? Ooh, that's tough. I like Thunder Maw. This gets a green dude. I'll take Thunder Maw. Oh, I like Thunder, 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 Thunder Maw. Ma. This is Factor Fiction coming back. That's pretty ridiculous. I guess we just take Traverse here. I don't think it's great. Oh, Rage of Ravine. That's how you know that's no good. one else is in your color whatsoever. I think that's because red green is the worst color combination. It in doesn't this seem cube. like a good color combination in the cube. It seems pretty bad. I agree with you. If this deck isn't at least 50% four drops, we have failed. I agree with you. I think we're on. I think we're on course to hitting that though. So that's good, right? Oh, we could have had Master and Huntmaster. That could have been a look at this. It could have been a sweet buddy cop show. What if we put? What if we just put Iona in the deck to tooth and nail for it? Um, I don't hate that idea. I don't either. Which is awkward. Which is awkward. Why do you like this? Who hurt you? My dad. <laughs> It was a good time, my dad. <laughs> was it because he never came back from the store? Something like that. Yeah, I mean, one day he'll get those cigarettes. Don't worry. This is a lot of white, late white cards. There was a lean and uh, again nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay. Wow, this pack is so bad, dude. We get a f wall of roots pack one. Sweltering suns. Ooh, Iona's sitting at the top of the Christmas tree. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's a great... That's some flavor right there. I'm going to put you right in here. Happy holidays, Fifi Boot. What'd you say? What did you say? Soldering Sons. I think it's just Wall of Roots. Why, we kill, why do you have such a, a predilection towards killing our own creatures in the green deck? Because the creatures suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when you're the green deck, they're your bread and butter, boy. I'll show you some bread and butter. There you that's go. Good. There you fun. go. There you go. There's a broken magic card. There you go. We can't take Resto. Oh, we could have taken Resto because it goes to the top of the tree. Hey, zoom into that Rafaelis again. There you go. Look, look at the, taking the berries. Look how, <laughs> look how sauntering he is. Oh, we'll take you. You can hit on up here. What if that Resto comes back? That'd be sick. I could see Resto over Iona because of that top of the tree. Ooh, Sundering Titan. That's where I want to be. Is it? Yeah, man. Hey, we do have Tooth and Nail. The sad thing is, we're red-green and our ramp is not very good. 
What? A red green in our ramp isn't very good. Oh, there we go. That's a dude I want to I want to see. That's acceptable. Yeah, that's a six. That's a sixer. Look at all these awkward mana costs we have. Like this is a lot of. I'm gonna put you in the sideboard for now because there's not enough room here. Oh, harmonize. <laughs> that's another four drop for us. Is growing rights better? I don't get your creatures right. Oh, uh, you look at the top four. You reveal a creature card, put it in your hand. And at your end step, if you control four or more creatures, you transform it. Four is a lot. Four actually is a lot. Well, we have Awakening Zone. And things like Huntmaster and Xenagos. I think this actually could be okay in our deck. All right. Carry added in Stomping Ground. And a Garrick. Thunder, 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 cats. I carry it. I don't carry it. All right, Wait, well, we have a Kijiki Jiki, right? We got a Kijiki Jiki, yeah. We'll probably take that pester, right? Oh, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that counts, though. Why not? I don't know, because it's a, it's a blue card, gotta man. Gotta water the Christmas tree. <laughs> gotta water the Christmas tree. Oh, Wait. Hermit alone activates the flip? We're just hurting our deck if we want to take the pester, right? Right. It's like a free one. Yeah, but this is where's the simulation draft. We hurting our deck has, is a. You gotta water the Christmas tree. I don't know. Now we we'll water it. No. You have to. You, I'm sorry, Michael. It's gonna be set on fire. It's gonna be set on fire. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but just watering a plant doesn't prevent it from being set on fire. Uh, it slows the fire. I want to take strip mine. Yeah, but that doesn't. It slows the fire. I can't. I can't. I'm going to take this, and if that Crucible comes back, I think it's actually pretty sweet. Thrag Daddy. Old Thrag Bay. We also have Progenitus, and we have Tooth and Nail and Natural Order. That's true. And if it's a situation where if we draw it, we still have Tooth and Nail to play it. I think we actually take this dude. Sure. That guy's all the colors. I put the Iona away now. <gasps> That's the angel at the top of the tree, boy! <laughs> Did you like that? I don't think we can play it, but... Why not? Where are you getting white from? Noble Hierarch. Sylvan Carry added. It's like two. But we don't need to. We start we tooth and nail for it and then Kiki Jiki and then wins us the game. Oh, that works. This is the pre this is the, the pestermite you wanted. Fair enough. Sarah, we're not getting Abbot of Care Keep when all of our when all of our cards cost four and five mana. Like we're gonna be able to play it on turn seven and hopefully hit a five drop? Chandra. Sure. Booper in there. Green Sun Zenith. I would play that card, man. I don't think we have enough green things. Plenty. Not really, Michael. We got Hermit. We got... Oh, Hermit. Dermit. Who? What was, what was the next one you said? Vermit. Vermit. We got Skirmit. Fermit McFrog. And we got Germit. Fermit McFrog. We got that guy. I'm going to take Thran Dynamo out. I think we take one of these two out. I think it might be Pelucranos. Uh, I don't think we can write Hellkite in this in this deck. Oh, fill out the curve, huh? Progenitus is not... It doesn't even have to be Christmas lights, but I can see where you're getting at. Progenitus is just a green and red creature. I don't know what problem it is. Alright, we still need two cuts here. I don't know what they're going to be, though. I don't know if we need Primal Command. We play that. We also have Sacred Foundry and Stirring Wildwood. So, like, there's no reason not to just play those as white lands if we need them. Like, this is actually a pretty solid mana base for splashing one Resto. Yeah, I agree. Turn one Hierarch, turn two Abbot, play one drop, flip off Abbot, perfect curve. Okay, but we don't... What if Noble Hierarchs are only one drop? Hey, Greg, I have a curve. Can you fill me out? Oh, my God. Why? 
Progenitus is the Christmas Hydra that Jesus fought in Atlantis. Yeah. Sounds about right. I remember that, actually. I read about that in in my college history course. Do you remember that? Huh? That's cool. What up, Dotsui? How's your... Wow, that did, that drink didn't stand a chance. I got a little purple at the bottom. Uh, it's called Perp. You should know about, all about that. You shall be know all about Perps. You goddamn criminal. How dare you. Do we even make one more cut or do we just play 16 lands? 16 lands it is. All day, 16. I don't, I don't like you. I do like Foundry and Stirring, though. Really? I don't want that many tap lands. Like, both of these are coming into play tapped already. Maybe oh, I don't even really? like you. <clears throat> What'd you say to me? <clears throat> oh. Because we also oh. need... Yeah. Are you... Are you... Are you dying? <laughs> are you doing okay, man? Some of that purple dust at the bottom got in my throat. It was real bad. <laughs> Why are they sticking a blue in here? Because pro... Oh, they're sticking a blue and a black in here because of progenitus. That's yeah. weird. So this is 8 and 6. It's 14, 15, 16... So it's seven red sources and nine. Seven. This is seven ten. That's a seven ten, good buddy. Um, but we also have like Rafelos, Wall of Roots, Noble Hierarch, Sylvan, Lo Sylvan Carry added, Awakening Zone, and technically Courser to help us with lands. Awakening Zone only produces colorless mana. Nothing was stirring. Not even a Wildwood. <laughs> you can't put it in. What'd you say? Waking Zone doesn't produce colored mana. Right, but I'm just defending 16 lands. Oh, okay. And, like, having more ways to get mana. If you know what I'm saying. I think you do. Um, because despite being a mongoloid, you're, you're, you're able to grasp simple concepts. choking on purple mana, and I'm going to do it again. You're choking on purple mana. Woo! That's a strong flavor. That was a strong flavor once. Milk me, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Yeah, it did. And it was horrible. It was great. Uh, I don't like. We just went over this. I don't like Thicket, and I don't think Foundry is really necessary. We have one white card, and we already have two, three. I keep saying, I keep clicking this and said three, three ways to to play it, and we also have key, uh, Tooth and Nail to put it into play. Cheaty, Cheaty McCheater face. You can just keep making angels on the untap the Kijiki, right? That's the idea. Yeah. Well, you make an angel, and then you you blink the Kijiki, and then you make another angel, and you blink the Kijiki, and then you get it on there. Whoop! This is the angel at the top of the tree, good buddy. Why? Why did they leave? <coughs> I might like I might like Sacred Foundry in the deck though, because the cost is so low. Oh, you're not playing that? I'll play that. All right. Yeah, that's way better. I just don't want another land that I have to pay two mana, two life for. Like, it's just not ideal. I mean, it's only one. It is, but it's only two life, right? But uh, everything adds up, bro. This would be better. Mm. All I hear is crunching ice and bad suggestions. But I made a good suggestion. Yeah. Except your bad suggestion. You ever think about that? No. You will one day. As if. You will one day. Hunde. All right, we got our Christmas deck. Oh, Christmas deck. Oh, Christmas deck. Let's draw some lands and creatures. Don't be a Mitch, you stupid Mitch. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you already condemned them to being a Mitch. This deck is kind of fair. What up, Case? Yes, of course it's fair. It's green and red. Oh, this is... This garbage. Is garbage, dude. Mulliganos. I'll keep this because anyone land and we are golden. McMolden. We are golden Caulfield. That's a Catcher in the Rye reference. In case you didn't know. You probably didn't know because you don't know how, what a book is. I've read that book, you son of a Mitch. Drinking tonight while Mike's drinking. I went to high school. But Mike is only drinking uh, 
crystal light. That crystal. He can't boy. handle his crystal light. I'm apparently. drinking that crystal. <laughs> my God, dude. Oh my God. I'm not going to stop saying it even if you don't celebrate it. Oh, apparently you saw that thread. Boy, that thing got out of hand. Yeah, it really flew off the handles. I was just like, wow, you guys really misinterpreted what I said. I knew I was going to draw that. You think you know a guy, then he goes and takes your silver carry out and puts it in the trash can. Don't you have a spell pierce? I'll cry. Do you want to see me cry? He just ate a whole rock right from the cup. That's not how that works, Mike B. Mike B is mana draining those ice cubes. Oh, boy. That was my last cube. Boy, oh boy, oh. Let's say I'm cubeless now. What? Whoa. Man, he's telling you to buy a whole box. That's a lot. Whew. This is the most you've ever gotten from one person? Uh, in life, Taunus is like my literal 100, uh, my top, like the, the absolute top donator ever. Okay. It's not even close. Dude, thank you so much. Oh my god, how do you even exist? Every experience I've had with Taunus has been amazing so far, <laughs> from the time we blackjacked in, uh, in Vegas. It's just a non-stop awesome fest. Wait, didn't Stuart one time donate a ridiculous amount for a charity or something like that? Um... I think so. I could have swore it was like 150 bucks or something like that. I think you were also 150 bucks too. That's about what I'm worth. It's not really what <laughs> I am. That's, that's <laughs> my net value. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mackel. Tonos, thank you so much, dude. You, I really appreciate it. Have an amazing holiday. And, um... Whew. My name is Jeff. Whew. I need, I need a paper. Hold on. Whew. That'll put some tobacco in your pipe. If only I... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. Joke's worst... on you. I don't have any creatures. Not the worst reanimation ever. I mean, it's not a good one. Uh, Always yield, always yes. Oh, it was craps. It was craps, not blackjack. See, that's how... That's my inexperience with Vegas games. Remember that time we played craps? Uh, no, we did play craps. See, I messed it up again, even there. You're terrible. I'm doing. I'm doing very well. We're doing very well for my. Oh my god! Half the combo. Two where we can't cast. Well, the other problem is that if I play Kiki Jiki here and sacrifice this, uh, he just dies next turn. This is also true. Ah, uh, Maria. <laughs> yes, yes. Taking four? Man, you crazy. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that! I clicked the wrong button, I'm basically dead! I got so distracted by the donation, ah! This is the worst. I thought we were doing well up until- oh! That's cool. I didn't see that. <clears throat> yeah, it was basically the best compulsive research ever, where they discard shield, red, inkwell, leviathan. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Just in case you didn't have everything. Not everything in your deck, but like just in case you didn't have everything in this in this situation you're in right now. Well, it's just gonna be these two. This is super rude. Well, one half. And the tooth and nail. Yeah, I think we're dead. I think that should do it. Let's see what our next cards would have been. One. To who? Yep, those aren't gonna do it. Do we have any more artifact or uh enchantment, enchantment destruction? that technically it's not no it just puts we on could, top uh, though play right? a bunch of planes and try to manatide them. i like green sun because it does get reclamation sage but what about manatide um yeah i'm not gonna do that okay but i appreciate your suggestion preach preach Mike B has content destruction? What does that even mean? I don't know. I will play first. 
Okay, turn to Awakening Zone. See, the problem with strip mining for the bazaar is that, like... It makes our mana pretty bad. It makes our mana pretty bad, but it also means that, like... Um... They... They're already going to get an activation off of it, so... At no point, like... You can never stop them from ever activating it. I like this progenitus in our hand. Oh, Christmas deck. Oh, Christmas deck. Teaching us to hate ourselves. One, two, three, four. We'll have five mana next turn. So close yet so far. Still always yes and always yield. Oh yeah, Tonos, yeah, Tonos, I came I came to the table and Tonos was like, here, I got some got some chips for you if you want to play. And I was like, okay, sure. And so we played for like two hours. It was amazing. I got like no sleep that night before my flight. Um and at the end I was like, here's the money, you know, here's the money that that you you loaned me back. And I still I came away with like sixty bucks. It was such a cool night. We didn't draw anything exciting. On the bright hand, bright hand? On the bright hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like a combination of the other hand and the bright side. You know, it's uh, it's two colloquialisms in one. Look at my bright hand. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Here we go. Here we go. I will discard Iona and... Uh, Oh, just a Riffling Cloudscape and a Kalibus. Okay. okay. No, not too bad. Yeah, well. Do it again. And the draws first? Oh, God. On the bright hand. Sadate on the bright hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a little Pootie Tang mashup there. That was good. Oh, Mystic Confluence. Wow. Miscar Mist oh, here it comes. Oh. Got a deck of something I, else. I think we're gonna get to Chandra this turn. That's what you think. On the bright hand. Blow the roofs off the doors. <laughs> what? <laughs> On the bright hand, I had some extra cash with the sun. Yeah, I remember when I walked out. Yeah, I remember I walked outside. It was like it was one I, of those nights. I think my like... flight was like seven or eight, and I was like, "Oh God, this is not." Well, the sun just starts melting you because you're just like you've been you've been a degenerate all night. Yeah, well, me and me and uh, Nathan and Zomar were were rooming together. That's admirable. And um, I remember going back to the room and I'm like, "Do I even sleep? Like, is it even worth it?" And he's like, "No, don't. Like, it's not even. It's like the sun is punishing you for staying out too late. Yeah, like your eyes are like, no, dude, this is not a reasonable thing for you to have done. You made you made poor choices with your life." Sadate on the tippy towel. Do we just discard our hand? Drawing four here seems real good. It's not bad. Oh, that's better. Do. That's better. And yeah, this guy can. can get in there? What a deadly little booger. Also, if they play Animate Dead, we got Rec we got Recky Recky Sage. We got Recky for that, Becky. Recky for that Becky. Frank singing Backstreet Boys. That seems like a pretty consistent quote. Like that, I feel like that quote happens a lot, actually. Yeah, Juposhi, he sings a lot of Backstreet Boys. There you go. There back you go. Backstreet's back. All right. <coughs> is that a, that's an NSYNC song, though? Uh, definitely not. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Hmm. I made a mistake. You were supposed to discard the card you want to reanimate. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh boy, that's fantastic. I still think we would have had that game. Like, maybe. Oh I don't god. Know, man. He, he tutored and drew a bunch of cards. Woo. 
But yeah, generally you wanna you wanna discard the thing you wanna reanimate. I think that's how it works. Not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe strip mine does come in. It's not like it doesn't tap for mana. We actually have no colorless lands. It's not like we got a bunch of colorless lands on our deck, and we're two colors. It's not like I was thinking what cards I don't need. Turns out I decided I need the card that I want to reanimate. Well, technically you do need that. Nice. <laughs> back streets back in sync. <laughs> Told you. I don't know why you didn't believe me. Oh, Rec yeah. I'll keep any hand with a Rex Sage in it. Just because of... Can we draw Noble Hierarch into, like, Rafalos? That's actually fun. Oh, Rafi Poppy. Rafi Poppy? Mm hmm What does that even mean, man? You know, the Rafi Poppy. No one knows the Rafi Poppy. I have no idea what that even means. Crystal light. Oh, with caffeine. Ooh, getting lit tonight, boys. I really want to click on that link, but I'm afraid that it's going to mess... Wow. Heroes Downfall, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Mystic Confluence just went to the graveyard. Two of these are just busted. I don't even know what's going on right now. Just discarded a Jace? I was actually going to search for this. I was going to green Sun Zenith for, for Noble Hierarch. I guess I no longer have to do this. Now I do not have to do that. Why are you talking like that? I just how I always talk. No. <laughs> No, no, it's definitely this is not. Definitely how I always talk. Oh, it's crying out so loud! No, please don't. This please is no. Not a good table. Oh God, he's he's not done. How are you netting? How do you still have seven cards in here? Oh, you're discarded three, so you're gonna have four cards. And then if you play a land and an animate, you'll have two cards in hand. Mm -hmm. And then we get to Rexage your thing. All right. Oh, oh. of course he has Exhum. Our plan is all is well, all for not. That's. That's unfortunate. How do we kill that? We don't. We just lose to it. Huh. Uh, you don't say. I do. I do say. Who told us to draft this deck again? All of our Christmas friends. <sighs> Merry Christmas. And to all a good night. <laughs> Oh my god, it's literally just, I want it that way. What's wrong with you guys? Why well, couldn't have been, it couldn't have been anime day. Tell me why. I'll never tell you. He nothing but a mistake. They're going to consecrate Sphinx back. This is so dumb. I never want to hear you say. Sir, why are you saying Mizium Mortars? That does not deal enough damage. That doesn't deal anything. It wouldn't be a real Christmas <laughs> if you weren't disappointed. Where are you going to go? What do you even need? What more do you need, man? You have Mystic Confluence, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Are you going to Oh, okay. Sure, knock yourself out. Can we just mill them? No. I guess not. Not fast enough. No. Not fast enough at all. Tell me why... Ain't nothing but a heart. Ain't Why do you play these cards? Why are you not concede? I do not understand. Because we ain't dead yet. Yeah, we're pretty dead. We ain't dead yet. Hunter, tell him. Tell him about it. Tell him. Say woof. Don't tell him to talk on the stream. Why not? All right, we're dead. Oh, is that what that did it? Yes, because if I had this guy, you know what? I hate you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good Ramir deck he's got there. It was not bad. Wasn't it, though? No, it was good. Tonos, man, thank you so much for the donation. I still can't get over it, dude. Oh, this is a hand. The old six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight hand. I don't know how to arrange these. Yeah, let's see. I like this better. It's much more reasonable. You can leave and never come back. Don't you ever come back. I'll see you in the bottom of the trash can. That's where your that's I where mean, your mom found you, you, you right? We have a good tooth and nail deck. We just 
got to get there before dying. Get a few webcams together and stream a live drive. I actually don't hate that idea. The biggest problem with that is that I just don't have enough. We can't. It's hard to find eight people to get together and do a draft. Yeah, we don't have friends. It, it's not that like it's not even that we don't have friends. It's that we don't have eight friends that are willing to draft at the same time. Yeah, it's like a. They all have lives and families and and kids now, and it's like, why you gotta be so old? Can't you just play video games for the rest of your life and card games? <laughs> get it together. Get it together, Grouch. Here's a pack rat. We're going to Mizzium Mortars that thing to the Stone Age if there's a mountain in the next two cards. Um, so, Juposhi, I read your comment as, what if you do it with eight puppies? And I was like, Oh, that sounds good. Deal. I will draft with eight puppies. Are we drafting the puppies? Grenade Risen. <laughs> Um, you always draft the puppies. What's your first, what's your pack one pick one as far as puppies go? German Shepherd. Oh, look, there was they a... they make a real cute puppy. Would you say they'd make a cutie? Yes. Um, what are we doing with this, man? A one, two... Buck on my shoe. I'm just gonna keep it. I like keeping things. The rat must Cold. die. I like your rat... Rats off to you, bro. That's what they say. That is what they say. I heard it. I heard him say it once. That's off to you. So Tim and Eric, why are you so weird? Jay Galvanio, where where are you located? Where everyone here is single with no kids. It's funny because like I I moved back to Florida because friends and family and stuff and like everyone here has they're all they're all like married and they all have kids now and it's just like or they're just like work schedule doesn't doesn't work out for us yeah. to hang out. We've been trying to get some cube draft and some Magianos together, but. Oh, man, Magiano's family style is where it's at, dude. And we haven't done it once since I've been back. Man. Well, we just, we, we've got three people. We only need one. Yeah, it's me and Felipe. I don't know if Felipe would do it, though. He doesn't seem like a guy who wants to spend $25 on... I bet we can do it one time. One, two, three, four, five... I'm just gonna take another four. I don't even care. Cause I want to play this raging ravine here. What kind of fur, baby? My dad. Are you? No, we're you know we're not we're not married because we're both straight. But that's a good question, valid question. Chris, we would love to do Magianos with you. That Chris, I would do. Oh my god, I would do Magianos with you in a second, dude. Oh, you just killed can my we, whole board. Can we, can we Skype it? Can we Skype Magianos? Like, we both go to Magianos and then Skype it no. up. And then, no. No, you can't. Okay? Man, dang it. Put on top. Put on top. Play in a land and put it on top. That's a song I wrote called Put It On Top. Yeah, it's all right. What was your pack one pick one? German Shepherd. Really? Why? Have you seen a German Shepherd puppy? I mean, I've seen all the puppies. I've, I have a... Yeah, I'm a puppy expert. I have a degree in puppyology. Oh, that's all you need to know, then. Um, it's subjective because they have really big ears, and sometimes they both don't work, and that's cute. Both of the ears don't work. Yeah, sometimes one ear works, like one ear stands up already, but the other one doesn't, and that's real cute. Is it? I also am biased because my uh, cousin had a German Shepherd puppy, and I was like staying at his house for a while when that happened, and it was it was a good time. Was it? He was quite the little rascal. Magianos is definitely a chain Italian restaurant, but I think it's 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 probably one of the better ones. Oh yeah, there's definitely I mean there's definitely better Italian restaurants, but Oh, our opponent discarded shoulder and a gristle brand. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Here we go. Frank and Mike's reanimation fun hour. <laughs> I would just draft the reanimator deck, that's what you gotta do. Well, I'm sorry, Michael, but re coming back from the dead, that's an Easter stipulation. That's not a Christmas stipulation. Yeah, you're right. I know. Oh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't even have close to enough mana. Seven. Um, we're actually going to sack the germ here. Because if we can hit a land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we can Woodfall Primus and kill Necromancy, and I'm pretty sure that's the only way we can win here. It's the only way we can continue playing the game. Correct. Never mind. We can't play the game. No, we have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We can play the game. Oh, I kept I kept this in hand because I clearly have no idea how to click things. Wow, I'm so bad at that, dude. 
I agree. All right, we're not dead. Good Lord, I've paid 12 life for this stupid card. Ain't nothing but a heartache. I don't think they have another reanimation spell, or they probably would have just gotten back Gristlebrand, because that seems better. But I'm probably wrong, and they're probably just going to exhume. Also, I'm pretty sure we discard, because I don't feel... Um, can we go to two here? And die to like burst. Well, we died to burst lightning anyway. We died to like. We died a lot of <laughs> did I just really start singing Backstreet Boys like completely subconsciously? I oh, think I did a while back. No, but he yes he refreshed the quote. Oh okay. So I'm thinking that I did it, which caused him to play it or to 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 reanimate it, if you will. Do I just go to two here? I want to be honest with you. I don't care about Sundering Titan right now. And we can equip the, the Batter Skull to the Woodfall Primus and gain 10 next turn. So that's pretty healthy. Oh, God. I love that Woodfall Primus kept us in this game. That's so great. Let's make sure we don't um, draw an extra card. Oh, boy. Put you on top. Put you on top. Oh, I can't actually play this because we're just going to get rid of the natural order if we do that. Yeah, that was bad. So, in, well, why is that bad? You should have just got the natural order. But then we don't have a creature to sacrifice to it, so there's no point to do that. New Woodfall Primus. I don't want to set. Why not? And I'm going to have to start driving soon if you keep acting <laughs> like this. <laughs> I forgot it had persist. Oh, that's one of the best parts about it. That is one of the best. You're a commander player, so you're more familiar with cards like this, though. Wow. <clears throat> I kind of just want to put this on here and gain 10, though. I feel like that's a better play. I mean, I like gaining 10. I'm 10, Greg. Can you gain me? Yes. Okay, well, good. That's good. And then we can just play Sylvan Carry added. Yeah, this is good. This keeps us in the game. Got him. Woodfall Primus, man, doing Can't hard work. That game. I feel like if you were to animate Gristlebrand, we would have just lost that game. Why? Because they'd have like eight more cards? Yeah, exactly. Um, well, the thing is, you want to reanimate his shoulder and then just get Gristlebrand back the next yeah, turn. Yeah, but that's so greedy. But you give them, you're only giving them one turn to really deal with it, right? So, I mean, it is greedy, I agree with you, but... Like, have you ever played a Gristlebrand? That card's insane. I think we just still want a green sign because it searches for Reclamation Shade, so it's literally yeah. just another... What did we take out last time for it? Uh... I don't think we care about Thrun, like, I just no, don't... No, we can take that out. He's not that slow. He... I mean, fast? Slow. He's not that slow? He's good against slow decks. Thrawn is good against slow decks. Actually, Sundering Titan can probably come out. For what? My dad. Oh, yeah. That makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, definitely. Can we bring in Thran Dynamo for Sun Titan? Sundering Titan? Why? Because it lets us play a lot of these on, like, turn five. Okay. Sure. And I feel like our opponent's doing things significantly faster than we are. There's only two colors, so Sundering Titan's not that great. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah, like, we get to destroy one swamp and one... Ooh... Okay. No, I accept. I don't even care about that right now. Really? Yeah, what do I care about that? Did let's play first? Interesting. Maybe they're doing a discard. Never mind. Nope, they're not, I guess. Alright. Oh. What you think about? Well, there's like a couple different options here. I think Walrich is just as good as, like, a noble. <laughs> in response, in tomb. Here we go. I do like having Green Sun next turn. If I'm but if they lose back to back to reanimator, reanimator, reanimator. Yeah, it's literally and Shield Red is the card, right? Both times. Mm -hmm. The problem here is that if they reanimated this turn, which they're going to do, oh, they didn't do it. Interesting.
Well, necromancy costs three, so that's why. Oh, I was well. I was afraid of exhum or, or animate or something, right? How much life do we pay this game? That's a good question. I guess we're gonna have to find out. I think we paid twelve last time, so probably just want to go sixteen. Ooh, recurring nightmare. That's even better. Is it? Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, it's pretty good because we can't actually kill the guy that they're getting back. You're correct. I know. So long, Wall of Roots, and thanks for all the fish. The fish? It's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe reference. Rep reference? It's a reference, Michael. I guess is I'll sack my Wall of Roots. That, that show? That book? Your dad is. Not in the movie. In yeah, the movie. that's where he went. He went to go get <clears throat> cigarettes from the book. The movie wasn't very good. You're not very good. I know. Did you? Ooh, the old plan glacial worm. Yeah, might as well go for... Oh, we're just going to have to sacrifice it. This is so stupid. Yeah, we're dead. Game's over. Because we're red, green, and we have no answers to big, big, scary monsters. <laughs> Things that go bump in the night. It is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I don't know why I said universe because I'm trying to, I'm trying to pay attention to my game. <clears throat> my game. Y'all know about my game. Y'all don't know about my game. What are you looking at, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if we green sun for something. If there's just, I wanted to get Ruffello so the next turn we can actually tooth and nail, but that ain't how that works. Yeah, we need another creature. Uh huh. So we're pretty much locked out of this game. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Uh, we can't get Hunt Master, right? No, we need one more mana. Mm -hmm. So, if we draw land next turn, we can Green Sun for Hunt Master, Sag the Wolf token. But then we don't have Green Sun to get Rafelos. Yeah, that's true. Right, like it's not good. Mm. We could Chandra, I hope she errors out and Maybe starts on six and then negative six her. If we just get really lucky and draw Rafelos. Maybe our opponent can fall asleep at the computer, and then we win. I don't want to wait 20 minutes for that, man. <laughs> it's only 10. Why? Why would it be 20? Because it's how much time they have on their clock. No, but after 10 minutes of inactivity, they just lose. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Gotcha. Wow, you didn't know that. That makes sense, because it's the same thing in real life, right? 10 minutes, your opponent doesn't show up, you win the game. Uh, I don't know, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? Don't lie to me, <clears throat> Craig. All right, let's see what we can get. I think it's just Huntmaster here, but... They also have five cards in hand. There's really no reason that they can't just kill everything we love and hold dear. Yep, just Huntmaster. Oh, wait. You should have got Hermit. Hermit's five. We don't have enough mana for that. Wow, immediately killed them. All right. Whatever. I got a wolf. You don't know me. What you know about my wolf? How you can get fired on your day off? That's a good movie. What movie is that? Uh, it's called Friday. Oh. It stars Ice Cube and Chris like Tucker. Friday after next. And there's a character called Big Perm. I mean, Big Worm. <laughs> I have seen that movie, but it was a long time ago. Doubt it. How dare you? I'll murder your whole family. Yeah, that's right. On Christmas. Oh my God! Just give me a. Just give me. Okay. Well, you didn't give me anything. You clearly hate. You gave me nothing. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But we can discard you to prevent two, so we go to we go to we take nine. If we draw an extra card, we'd be at nine, so we just die. I don't know, Dad. <laughs> can you not laugh at me? No. It hurts my feelings. Can Chandra kill Black Alesh Norn? What does that even mean? Is this Black Alesh Norn? <laughs> yeah. No, she can't because she starts at four. And so you'd give Neg 4 Neg 4 to all the dudes. 
and then she would black Eleshenorn would stay alive oh my god with her like with her toothy torso ew do that again zoom into that Ew, Have I you ever seen that? No, that's disgusting. It's real oh, weird, God, dude. It's so weird. Why did you point that out to me? I, well, I didn't. Six. I'll never minutes. play that card again. It's real uncomfortable. Let's just card a card. I don't want to. Why not? Because I'd rather just die You're like never this. Never playing that Chandra. It's never getting cast. I'll play it right now. Okay. So close. I feel like we are so close, dude. <clears throat> but we're still dead. For all three cards concede. Oh, that wasn't the match, though. Are we up a game? Yeah, we're uh, up a game. I guess so. I wish I had a graveyard thing. Why is there no graveyard thing here? There doesn't seem to be any graveyard here in this. It, that is what it seems like, yeah. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Oh, the rumble and the and the guns and the caller. Yeah, I don't know the words to that song, but... There's a lot of them. I'm going to just play. I'm going to submit. I'm gonna Sub I'm good, gonna Schmidt. Good submit. <sighs> bully, bully. Okay. Oh. 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 That's a turn to Progenerino. Keep it. Bottom it. Keep it and sneep it. No one's sneeping anything here. I sneep it. Dink it and sink it. You know what that's from? Of course I do. Do you? I watch it every day. Do you? Every day, bro. Here comes the entomb. You ready? I'm having that good mythical morning. They didn't entomb. Ooh, We're good. gonna kill them. No, they'll probably just shoulder and then we'll have to sack. Oh, yes. Yes. Ha ha. Yes. Can't get it. Okay, I'll cast my thoughts. He's... <laughs> this format's just people doing broken things. You're right. So long, good friend. Oh, do we just Woodfall Primus and kill one of their lands? No, let's just get in this game. I think that puts us in the game. I think a 6-6 six, six Trampler that kills one of their two lands. So James kills him in two turns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sold. Gosh. Also, we have Awakening Zone now, so even if they do play uh, Shieldred... Uh, I'm going to play Diabolic Edict, too. <laughs> that's what I was... That was a concern. Please, no, don't Liliana. Do it, don't, Here's a Liliana. Don't do it. Liliana don't of the Veil. Toxic they lose for 10. We would still have a pro... Uh, we, they wouldn't have... Oh my god, Michael. <laughs> this is why... How are you gonna How are you gonna play around that, though? Because we saw it in game one. We did? Yes, they wiped what? our Rophilos and our Noble Hierarch with it. I don't remember that. Yeah, of course you don't. You're too busy getting high with your crystal meth. <laughs> Oh, this is why I wanted something more versatile or more uh, resilient. Cool. Oh, they were good. Cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I don't think it's cool at all. Well, you're not in the know then. You're not in the stupid know you. Hey, there he is. You, oh, look, my friend came back. Yeah. I hate you. Let's get that. Get that, that what? That hunter. Hunter? Is she just range her right here? You can't cast it currently. Why? We have this. We have... Six I'm an mana idiot. next turn. Go ahead and take your hermit. <laughs> I'd rather just take the Primus. If we draw a land, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, take whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> the thing is, if we have Primus and we do draw a land, we can tooth and nail both Primus and Progenus into play next turn. That's pretty good. That's infinitely better than whatever nonsense you're going to suggest we do. I said take whatever you want, man. What more do you need? It was your, That was your third answer after you named the other two cards. Right. So there's no other options. I can't. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. You're tearing me apart! Lisa, Lisa, you're tearing me apart. Land one time, we'll tooth cheap, and nail. Cheap, 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 cheap. That's not it. It does nothing. Well, it kills a rat. It kills one rat. Well, I mean, that sets them back significantly. Instead of taking six next turn, we take two. And they have to spend another turn to make another ratty. Oh, also, we can just tooth and nail next turn, so that's cool. Unless they wipe our board somehow. So, fingers crossed, I guess. Cheap, 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 cheap. All right, I'm liking it. Oh, this is going to be nice. Are you ready? I want you to be ready. Never. 
You'll never be ready. Mm -mm. Cheap, 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 cheap. Get rid of your Montana. Whoa! Get rid of that one too. They're at 10. Progenitus coming through. Beep, beep. In order to wait and overload it, we have to draw... They're dead. Okay. <laughs> We'd have to draw two more mountains. That doesn't even make any sense. Just wait till you draw two more mountains before you kill a guy. Maybe you don't. Maybe I don't what? Also, by the time we drew two more mountains, they would their guys would be like five fives. Oof. Got him. All right, so we didn't lose the two reanimator decks. That's that's relevant. Hooray. Cheap, 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 cheap. One of the comments on these YouTube videos is came for the Tommy Wiseau impression, stayed for the Teddy KGB impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you do. It's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Now we went down to eight. We even lost another subscriber. I don't understand how, like, during a four-hour streaming session, my subscriber count goes down. It's just very comical to me. I will play first. It's Christmas, y'all. Why do you do that? Well, it's not people canceling. It's just their, their, their subscriptions not renewing. Like, today would be the day where they subscribed a month ago. And so now it's like, oh, it lapsed, and they just haven't renewed. But it's still a bad feeling that, like, when you're in the middle of a long stream, yeah, you actually... Uh, not to Twitch Prime subs. Ah. Progenitus died and then three turns later came back. He's basically the Jesus of, of magic. Frank, Mike, have you seen the Star Wars featuring Tommy Wiseau vid? Uh, no, I have not seen that. Oh my god, Noel Hire was such a good draw there. Tommy Wiseau in Star Wars? That sounds glorious. I'm in. Where can we find this video? Probably on the internet, I'd imagine. Oh, thank you. Well, you yeah. asked, you, you dummy. Hit me up with that link. Hit you up with what link? In the chat, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely can't complain. The Taunus' donation was epic. And uh, that was unbelievable. Kayford also donated tonight, which is amazing. Both of you guys are MVPs in my book. But the point is, like, um, you know, when the sub-level goes down... It feels like it feels like you're not making progress, like long term progress. You know what I mean? Ooh, turn two time walk. So sometimes you gotta explore. <laughs> oh man, truth. Okay. Do you go down? Oh, JC boy! Oh, JC boy! The pipes are calling. Of course, you go down. Is Jason Artifact or Enchantment? No. Unfortunate. Let's attack Jason and they have to go up. What happened? Lagom! Thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are awesome. Yeah, there you go. Give me them sweet crads. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, six mana. If we draw red, we can Inferno Titan. That's pretty cool. Straight up kill Jace. Of course, they're straight up. We're gonna play Jace the Mind Sculptor now. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's Old okay. Shaggy laggies. Why would you? Why would you give me access to my mana? Why wouldn't you just steal this? Oh, because you don't have mana for it. Duh. Hagu. Hagu. Michael Bartholomew, twenty seventeen. Hagu Namakata. It means no worries. How long? For the rest of your days. That's pretty good. Hakuna Magata. <clears throat> Man, maybe we can untap and cast for Dennis. Oh, here we go. I think we found it. <laughs> cheap, 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 cheap. Give me them sweet... I said crads, but... Yes, I, it might have sounded like crabs. And, uh... Oh, that's cool. 
I stop asking me. Just make the stupid, make the stupid babies. Make with the stupid babies, okay? <laughs> you making the stupid babies, yeah? Um, we have a lot of mana, but not a lot of things to do with the mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven mana. We can play both of these guys. That's uh, is uh, pretty good, huh? <clears throat> Here comes the old force of will. No? I hate that I can't, like, choose to redirect two to Jace and one to you. But, whatever. Goodbye! Goodbye! Look at this awkward batter skull. Look at this awkward progenitus in our hand. It's gonna be that way for a while. I mean, if we draw tooth and nail, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we can literally just tooth and nail, search for something else, and put this and whatever else in play, and still get a card. So that's pretty okay. No, I said crads. Give me them sweet crads. How long is this? Oh, it's two minutes? Yeah, no, we're definitely gonna watch it. I just don't want to do it on stream, because we're playing Magic the Gathering. You know how Magic the Gathering works? Come on. I don't. I know. Oh, it's a parent. Got him. Who's a parent? Uh, have you had a Have you had a child? Not your dad. That's for sure. He's getting cigarettes still. <clears throat> that doesn't make him not a parent. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> got him again. Did you? You basically you're so got. You're probably the most got dude I've ever seen. Wow. <clears throat> Oh, watch that. Well, if they have people, we just go land this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can discard this guy. They are going to do it. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Oh. I don't think I care about that. Nah. Just equip this Inferno Titan with a batter skull. I don't like that he can shoot like these three guys. That's pretty scary. Yeah, there's not much we can do about that. No, definitely not red. This is a big batter skull, especially. Oh my god! The Inferno Titan's ability gains us life. <clears throat> Because of the lifelink. And then when we pump it to 14, it gains us life. They kind of have to block here, right? Also, even if they do shoot our guy... No, wait. In order to shoot our guys, they have to attack themselves. Which they're probably not yeah. doing. Pump city. Go to 37. Feel good about our life choices. Wow, look at Batterskull, Mindslaver, and they had Vidalcan Shackles. This is an artifact deck if I ever saw one. If you know what I'm saying. No. Oh, also, for those of you who have subscribed tonight or who are thinking of doing it, um, you do get access to our the, to the subscriber Discord channel, which has been amazing. And every day we're chatting about random things, and it's super sweet. And I think the chat is one of my favorite parts of my stream. So it's pretty cool to be able to chat with everyone, uh, not just while streaming. So there you go. There you go. Oh, here we go. This is weird that it's not like Emrakul because, uh, um, like they just basically get to take our turn and their turn again. Yeah, it's not a fair card. <laughs> it's definitely, I don't think, I definitely don't think it's, yeah, I definitely don't think it's a fair card. <laughs> On Christmas Eve, you should be sitting by three decks of reanimation and the ghost of Steve Meridian. Oh my god. Who's your favorite Wu-Tang Clan member? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I gotta go to ODB, Old Dirty Chinese Restaurant. I'm going to go with Redman, actually, because I recently watched an episode... Oh, that's terrible. Well, that's actually not bad, because you can't sack my Inferno Titan. You're just going to waste it, though. You are going to sacrifice one of these guys, I'm sure. Yep, here you go. Um, And they get to take a look at my deck, so that's actually a pretty inconvenient draw. 
I don't think they can get anything really. They can get Woodfall Primus and kill our Batter Skull, but then we still have Woodfall Primus. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, they 100% kill Ruffalos, Ruffalos here. Um, Red Man wasn't in Wu Tang. Sure about that? I don't think that's true at all. I think you have Method Man. Hold on. I might be thinking of Method Man. No, it's definitely not Method. Which Wu Tang was in that Kung Fu movie? Uh, that was. Was it Jizza? Look at our opponent looking through our deck here. Am I just... I saw that movie in theaters. <clears throat> I think I saw it with Jay High. In a recent interview with AllHipHop.com, Redman talked about his involvement with Wu-Tang Clan, saying he's in fact an 11th member... Following that statement, unidentified members of the Wu-Tang Clan circle denied Red's official status in the group but said the Jersey Native is as close to being a member as you can get. Okay, it's interesting, not. interesting. Wow, that's weird that I associated him with Wu-Tang. I think maybe it's because Method Man is a member of the Wu-Tang, so like you always associate Method Man and Red Man together. Why don't you just bring the ruckus? So they sacrificed their fellows. So now they're going to kill these two guys. Oh, I guess they kill all three. Oh, they deal us a point? Why wouldn't you kill the spawn, too? But now they're going to take seven? That's interesting. Oh, hi, Mark. Avid Fiction on. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Unfortunately, our uh, our board is getting demolished here by Impulse. Okay. Either way, I'm a big Redman fan now because um, I've recently discovered through both Comic Book comic book Men and both uh, Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics that Redman's actually a huge comic book fan. And uh, that's super cool. Like a real like old school like serious comic hardcore comic book fan and it's pretty cool interesting yeah I, I was interested can I can you take your turn so I can just finally take a turn I have five cards in hand. This is not looking good. I feel like we were in great shape before that Mind Slaver hit, and then our whole board left. Yeah, it was here. We oh, I guess they don't have to shoot this stupid idiot because they can just sacrifice it naturally. I'm I'm not even paying attention, really. I'm just... It's hard to super pay attention when your opponent's do, taking control of your turn, and then it's flanked by two of their own turns, so you just don't get... You, you get one in four turns. Lantern is now too legit for modern Mondays, and you never got around to do. It. Um, I I didn't do mod. I didn't. I never did Lantern because it's a matter of. Um, that deck was just miserable both to play and to play against. So, for me personally, anyway, uh, on no side of the table. Manage rain control magic. Oh God. So I just give you the manager in the channel, right? I put the put two yeah. cards into the graveyard, Karn liberated and control magic, and I have mana drain and channel, which I don't care about because you don't even have double green, for one thing, and you can I, I just won't play anything. <laughs> I'll just kill you with this Inferno Titan that.
Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> do, 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 do. Take nine. I wish I had another two reds. So now you die on the trigger to this guy, right? Like, it's just not even... I don't even have to connect. JCL Gavinia, have a good night, man. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Did the mic just cut out back to the webcam? Not to my knowledge. No, we're still good. We're still good. Did they do that during their main phase? That's interesting. Four, five. Now you just have to play it, but if you spend your turn playing it for five... Yeah, we would just attack and kill them with the trigger. Yeah. No, they just realized that. Okay. Got him. I keep bringing Green Sun Smith. Sun and Titan still seems bad here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, especially because they have Control Magic, Vidalcan Shackles, Azorius Signet, Mind Slaver. What else do they have? They had a bunch of, they had like a million artifacts. Yeah. Are you tired? Tired of you. Got him. Did you? Oh, yeah. Pistol shrimps. Do you hear music? No. Like it's real low? No, I think I'm just going crazy. I think I'm actually having a stroke right now. Like a mental, like a brain stroke. Is that a thing? Can you have a brain stroke? Uh, I think so. I don't think I don't think you know though. That's why I said I think so. Yeah. I didn't give you a definite. I'll never give you a definite. Hmm. Get wrecked. Hmm. Got him. Got him. So they have mana drain and channel and time walk. That's cool. I feel like every deck has opened more broken cards than we have. I don't smell toast right now, so that's good. That's one. That's one perk on the side of uh, not having a stroke right now. Do you remember that time you had that brain aneurysm? What? He forgot. He's so forgetful. Billy. Oh, my brain. Is there a non-brain stroke? I don't. I think that's where it, it happens, right? That's where the that's where the magic happens, the stroke magic, so to speak. Yeah, Toast often have strokes. <laughs> I think this hand's... That. Is this hand any good? It's not great. It's really not. It's really slow. No, oh, this is much better. But they went to 6-2. Um, I'm going to put you on the bottom just because I don't have a red. What a planes. Where, what's even going on? Oh, my God. Uh, we were we forced red green this draft. Yeah, I think if there's a mox, we could have still taken it, like an off color mox. We passed no power though. Are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Bounce this guy? You gonna repeal this for one? And you're gonna do it during my turn because it's real cute. Now you change your mind. Okay. Yes. No. Okay. You, yeah, all right. Sure. You got it. Congratulations. Wow, what is going rude. on? That is rude. 
Also, we didn't see any white before. I like I like land into Reclamation Sage and to kill this thing. Apparently, Magic Online likes it as well. Yo, I can get my Sylvan Librario back. Okay. Librario. That's uh, it's my favorite place. Did that do anything? I guess they played an island, a boring island. This definitely feels like a, uh, a a deck where we can like draw some of these things. I'm going to put you on top. I will pay for life to keep you in my hand, Arena. Oh, I feel like they have F six though, because they have not. Uh, like this is a very smooth operator. Yeah. Yeah. See, look how quick these are resolving. They've definitely passed the priority. Here, what's is there going to be treachery, bribery, or uh, some sort of wrath of God? Treachery Those... would be fine here. Really yeah, I guess treachery. Uh, yeah, any kind of control magic is fine. So it's got to be bribery then, because oh, I see. Sort of but, not too bad. But you have no creatures. I don't understand. Oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually cast this for seven next turn. Put Inferno Titan Kikijuki into play. It's not bad. But it seems better to wait to just win the game. I mean... Oof. What, go to eight? Against a blue-white deck that has no creatures in play? But in the future. What happens then? We die. <laughs> well... I think that's true for both of us, yes. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm glad we, uh, glad we had this talk. Do we growing rights here? I think we growing rights because next turn it flips. Uh, let's take a progenitus. Because now our tooth and nail is insane. Uh oh, impulse. Yep, you got it. No impulse impulse control. Yeah, so we go Inferno Titan, which deals three. Kiki Jiki, copying Inferno Titan, which deals another three. Uh, we attack with the new Inferno Titan, which deals another three, so that's nine. The Inferno Titan deals six, so that's 15 damage right there just from a Kiki Jiki Inferno Titan. So they'd, be, they'd actually be dead if they had no answer to that. <laughs> EOT Impulse, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Four months in a row. Opponent knows where it's at. Nice. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. Unfortunately, we go to four, but we, we can't keep a Woodfall Primus here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. What can we do with eight mana? We actually can't play any of these, which is kind of sad. I really don't want to run into your five mana. Yeah, it seems dangerous. I feel like we just played Batter Skull. Yeah, it seems fine. I mean if you wanna if you wanna five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The problem is if you have Mind Slaver, you can um If you have Mind Slaver, you can counter this with Mana Drain and then just play Mind Slaver and activate it in the same turn if you counter our Batter Skull. Maybe we don't do anything. I don't want to give them that much time, though. I mean, our rights flips, which is pretty sweet. Which means next turn we can probably do, like, multiple things. Yeah, that's fine. Did you just take the green cards out? Why is Rock Lobster in my Why is that in my head? Only you know the answer to that. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. That's weird. Why is that? Yeah, I agree. It's weird. Rock Lobster? Hey, man. It wasn't a rock. 
Did you ever try to copy a progenus of the Kiki Jiki? Uh, yeah, it didn't work out so well. Okay. <laughs> nice. I was hoping you'd catch that. Uh, Rock Lobster might just be in my head at all times. It's a good jam. Okay. Declaration in Stone. Batter Skull. Shackles is 100% going in your graveyard. So is Time Warp, I think. You have nothing on play. You can let him Time Walk. I don't want them to go Time Warp, draw some cards, like with the Jace or something, then take a whole other turn. There's no way they're going to be able to do that all on the same turn, though. You don't know. They could draw Island. They go Island, Jace, Time Walk. They can do that. I guess. I just don't think... What do we care about Declaration and Stone? I just don't want them to really have a Batter Skull. I could care less about a Batter If they tap out to play a Batter Skull, that's the best thing to happen to us. It's true. Like, please play a Batter Skull. Because then I'll Tooth and Nail. And you'll be dead. You'll be dead. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. You know what that's from? My name is Jeff. It's still from Star Wars, Michael. My name is Jeff. Your name is not Jeff. I knew a Jeff once and you're nothing like him. What, all right, how much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 14 mana right now. Ooh. Yeah, who is right? So we could actually... We're going to have 15 because we're going to draw land. Don't need Ravellus. Don't really need a land. Hold on, we might. 15 lands means we can go Tooth and Nail for 7 and Woodfall Primus for 8. That's actually kind of what we want to do. Okay. I mean, he probably has a counter spell, but... Right, that's... Yeah, right. He's going to counter the Woodfall Primus, and then we get the Tooth and Nail. Oh, okay. And kill sure. him. Gotcha. So, five, six, seven. You can just ride this money. Yeah. One... Like, I assume this is going to be mana drained. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's just Inferno Titan Kiki Juki here. Because that will actually win us the game. I like winning. If they have swords or path, then so be it. Declaration is a sorcery. Oh, got him with the Inferno nice. Titan. All right, 2-1 with the Red Green Christmas Special. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't done so, please feel free to uh, hit the like or subscribe buttons down below, and I'll see you next time.